Hi everyone, now we are back and today we're going to be showing you and giving you some tips on how to keep a conversation flowing. Now I know this is a familiar topic with many guys who have a girl that they like and one who is equally interested in them but they are having trouble coming up with and maintaining interesting conversations except about those overdone topics like the weather and work which you can feel turning the conversation into one that is boring and a boring exchange of words. Like Ian has said, coming up with an interesting, flirty and engaging conversation can be hard but not anymore with these tips. So the first thing you want to do to have this dream conversation flow is to know when to continue the conversation. Now do not insist on having a conversation with a girl who's just not interested in you. Now this is because it's most likely going to feel like a monologue and not a conversation since she's not going to be able to look at you, maybe not give her your full attention and will not even make any attempts to try and get to know you. This will only leave you feeling neglected and rejected and negative for no reason. So the second thing that you want to do is ask her the right type of questions. You know, more of quality over those quantity questions. And by this I mean ask questions that will help you know more about her real personality. You know, so probe maximum about one topic before hopping to another one. Now for example, so what do you do? I write for a paper. So instead of replying with something like, that's awesome, or how long have you been writing that paper for, or how did you land that job? Now answer in a way that seeks to know her better, like, what made you start writing? Or, you know, that sounds great. Are those topics that you write about usually of interest to you? Or you can say something like, you know, do you like that paper? Will you keep writing for them? These types of questions will keep her interested and want to know more as she's not frequently asked such deep questions. The third important thing to do is offer information about yourself. Remember, you are two people trying to get to know each other. And so asking her questions without offering room to be asked some questions yourself or without willingly offering some information can actually be quite pressuring to the female. Some of the ways you can offer information include if she has a passion that you share, let her know and give some detail on how you share that passion. Or go first to make her feel more comfortable to share more. For example, you could say something like, oh, where do you walk your dog? I walk mine in the park on fourth. His name's Scotch, he's well cute. Fourth, you want to look out for her conversational leads. Now most guys don't even realise that girls are constantly giving leads on topics that they want to talk about. And if you paid attention, you'd pick them up. So for example, if she said that you know she would be busy on the weekend, make a point of asking her you know, what she'll be doing. And if she says something about needing to free up space in her phone by deleting some pictures, ask her what she likes taking pictures of so much. Another important thing you need to do is not filter your thoughts. Now it's very easy to slide into this filtering mode if you are afraid of messing things up with a girl that you're interested in. Now you should avoid filtering your real thoughts in fear of them coming out as inappropriate or goofy or maybe not impressive enough because you should be honest and would want her to see maybe your stupid side. Trust me, this would make her so much more comfortable and enough to show her stupid side too. And there is no better way than to start a relationship in total honesty. Now complimenting her later on in the conversation is another plus because it makes it a memorable conversation. Now you see one of the reasons why this will be the most important and sincere compliment she has ever had is because she'll believe that you took the time to learn about her and that the compliment is very genuine since you've observed it throughout the time that you've been conversing. Now another reason why this is powerful is that the date wouldn't have been complete without say a compliment from a guy that she likes. Now the last thing that you need to do to make the conversation a ringer in her mind is give the conversation a definite end. To leave her saying to herself, oh I wanted to keep talking to him. Now end the conversation before she gets tired of it. Now ending the conversation before she's ready makes her want to talk to you again which increases your chances of getting her number. So that's all from us today gents. I hope these tips have been really helpful for you moving forward. Of course if you do want any help and advice with conversation check out our conversation mastery course by clicking on the link below or clicking on the card above. Of course if you do want to get in contact with me you can drop me an email at annabella at karmalifestyles.com. I of course have been Annabella Rose and this handsome chappy has been Ian Miles and we will see you next time on Karma TV.